This beautiful two-story home is located in uh, Kent, Washington, just right off 105th Avenue. It's at the end of a very quiet lane, uh, and so there is absolutely no one back here. Uh, so co nearly complete privacy and quiet and solitude. Um, you don't have people driving up and down uh, the street, uh, ghetto blasters, none of that happening here. And yet, it's right off of 105th Avenue um, in Kent, near all the shopping uh, that's uh, really convenient. Um, it's a three-car garage. Uh, Two cars plus a storage uh, is what that third car ends up being. But you can put your toy in there too, boat uh, or whatever you might have. Um, we're going to go inside here to the entryway. We're greeted by the upstairs, uh, the stairway going up stairs. But first, we're going to take a look at the beautiful hardwood floors as we make our way um, into the back. Uh, the garage is over here, is through this uh, door on the left. Um, we've got a, a more uh, a closet, a coat closet for uh, shoes and, uh, uh, and and things to the right. A guest bath, um, <clears throat> just a half bath with a pedestal sink. All of the windows have wonderful uh, wide blinds on them, so uh, very upscale. This house was built in 2011, so it's only three years old. It's available for the first time as a rental. And of course, it's got all the amenities that you would come to expect. Uh, granite countertop, uh, stainless steel appliances, um, the refrigerator has water and ice in it. Uh, let's get a, a look inside. And uh, you can, it's just a beautiful standard fridge. There are lots of room. This is a four bedroom house, so you need a big uh, refrigerator for that. Nice uh, com commercial grade Frigidaire gas range with oven. This is nearly commercial grade. You can see the nice tile finish for the backsplash along the back here. A very deep double sink with uh, a what I call a swan neck uh, faucet that is also a pull out for sprit with a pull out sprayer. Uh, you, you have a dishwasher uh, right here. But what's really unique about this kitchen is the in cabinet microwave. Never seen that before. It's very tasteful, just out of the way. And what that means then is that you can put a range hood over your gas uh, range uh, so that now you can get rid of all the, the pasta steam, et cetera, uh, that's, that's happening there. So really nice touch with the in-cabinet microwave. We have a pantry uh, uh, over behind this door. I'll give you a quick look inside there. It's just a wall to ceiling. And then as we, uh, we have a, a dining room. This is a California great room uh, concept architecture with the nine foot ceilings. These are tall ceilings uh, with the dining room and then just m melding right into a family slash living room. There is a gas fireplace uh, with, of course, then you can put your entertainment center above that. And looking back uh, uh, towards the dining room and kitchen, you get a, uh, you can get the idea of the California great room. Really opens up the space, really allows the mind to expand and uh, think big and positive thoughts. The backyard is nearly fully fenced. Uh, very low maintenance, very simple to keep track, uh, to take care of. Basically, you just mow the lawn. Uh, you can uh, put the uh, lawnmower around the side. One side is not open. Um, and this house actually sits up next to a detention pond as a neighbor. So you have even fewer neighbors that way. That about wraps up most of the things we have to show downstairs. Uh, again, built 2011, uh, dark, uh, dark finishes. It's got a dark cabinetry and a dark floor, uh, very rich look to it. Uh, and, uh, and then as we come up the stairs, uh, it's a fair distance up the stairs because you have those nine foot ceilings. And 
as we come up to the stairs we have a landing and then there's just a nice long hallway that really uh, I think defines uh, the, uh, the upstairs you can also now look over a, a knee wall at, uh, from upstairs to see who has uh, maybe come into the house and basically now you've got uh, two bedrooms on the right one on the left and then the master at the end um, bedrooms are kind of boring so just going to take a quick look inside of, uh, of uh, we'll go inside and show you the it's a two panel uh, doors throughout the house so uh, the closet doors and the regular uh, doors all match and really nice uh, white gloss finish on a tan uh, base uh, this is the uh, bathroom that's shared by all uh, by the three bedrooms. It's got a double sink, not a single, but a double, so there's plenty of room for everybody. And then it's got a, a separate room uh, in the back with a toilet and shower. So, so you can have one person taking a shower while the other person is putting on makeup, combing their hair, whatever they need to do. We've got one bedroom there, another bedroom behind this door. <clears throat> come down coming towards the end of the hallway in the uh, this is the, obviously the laundry room the washer and dryer are stained both are front loading so that's nice you got some additional storage and basically uh, it's a linen a closet behind uh, this set of doors let's see if I can open those for you so what's really kind of neat and what's unique another unique feature about this is that uh, there is no closets in the hallway so normally there's there are and this way it really cleans up the uh, the whole uh, upper space walking into the master uh, it's an angled door at the end of the hall so that's pretty cool okay and uh, and you're going to walk in to the master it's a very large room uh, big enough for a king California king uh, and uh, dresser and and all the rest of it so um, and as we come in it's a five piece bathroom really cool sinks uh, uh, they're not surface mounted but they kind of look like a double sinks uh, on either side the same dark cabinetry the, the rich dark cabinetry that we had downstairs um, and then as you come into the right you got a, a beautiful soaking tub so uh, after that hard day at work or a stressful weekend you can uh, or maybe it's a stressful day at work and a hard weekend um, you can come in and relax and then uh, the the shower with shower door beautiful glass shower doors uh, again just continuing the richness of uh, this beautiful home uh, a separate uh, a, a bed a room for the toilet and then a walk-in closet that uh, will handle um, pretty much um, whatever you can throw at it so that's pretty much uh, the master suite. Again, it's a five-piece, uh, so very uh, nice that way. And uh, as we come back out, I'll give one last uh, view of the master bedroom. And if you have any further interest or questions about this property, we encourage you to call our leasing agent. Thanks for looking. Make it a great day.